Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today as we are driving off at the school grounds. Just dropped my kids off on this lovely Friday. Can you believe that it's freaking Friday already? I mean, I'm still congratulating San Francisco 49er fans that I see around town. I got my sweatshirt on today, but I see people wearing hats. I see people wearing sweatshirts, jackets. Um, you know, I, I don't know if they're just breaking things out because it's cold around here, but um, you know, just still feeling the vibe of that win um, from last Sunday beating the Bears. Uh, on Sunday, we're gonna be playing against the Texans. Um, I, I honestly don't know a lot to, to I, I don't know a lot about the Texans. I don't think I've seen the Texans play all year long. Uh, I can remember the sort of the quarterback controversy early on in the season. Uh, when Tom Savage was named the starting quarterback, Deshaun Watson um, was sitting the bench, I believe, for the first two games uh, before they sat Savage down, and then Watson took over and uh, really started, you know, um, pumping some life into that team and people just really poking holes in what people were saying about Watson not being. Um, you know, a, a starting quarterback, not being a franchise guy, not having stuff to live up to the NFL. Um, I honestly can't remember where Watson got picked in the draft, but um, I'm pretty sure the Niners could have picked him. Um, but instead, you know, we traded the Tr uh, Trubisky pick um, and uh, wound up with that kid from Stanford. But um, we'll have to see, you know, what, what's going to play out. But, I mean, you, you know, from the early looks, Deshaun Watson, before the injury, you know, you got to put that little asterisk there because he went down. I don't know if this is sort of an RG3 thing or, or something like that, but uh, it, 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 it might not be good, um, <laughs> you know, long term. We might have seen the best of Deshaun Watson. But, um, you know, the Niners, uh, they found a receiver last week that Jimmy Garoppolo liked throwing the ball to. Um, we've we've seen um, we, we've seen everybody sort of get hot, um, you know, throughout the season, you know, for a game here or there along the way, and we've never really had um, that true number one uh, receiver. Even though we had, you know, Pierce Garcon this season, um, you know, that tight end uh, had a really huge week one week, and I don't know what happened to him. He fell off the face of the earth, um, but. Uh, Sorry about that. We'll have to fix that in post. But, um, you know, we'll have to see if Taylor and Garoppolo have a rapport or if it was just a one-week affair. But uh, I honestly feel like even though the Texans in the past have sort of been that team that, you know, they've always been in that playoff hunt even though they've, uh, they've not had a quarterback, I think this is the team that the Niners can beat. And, I mean, for the Niners to go out and win two games in a row – um, for Jimmy Garoppolo to win his second game under center uh, for the 49ers, I think this is a big game for them. Um, I, I'm not saying that this is going to be where we plant our foot in the NFC West and say, hey, look out for us next year. We're going to be shocking some teams. I'm just saying that we're building our franchise up. This is exactly what we talked about last season. Um, we got our coach. We got our GM. Um, you know, we're putting the building blocks in place. We knew that we were not going to go out, you know, with Shanahan and win a Super Bowl our first season. We're really in the hole. Really, really in the hole. For a, a two-win team in the NFL um, right now, I, I think that we have a lot to be happy about. And I think that a lot of teams around the league, if you're like the Cleveland Browns right now, you're not really having high hopes about anything that's going on this you know people are even complaining that the coach is coming back next year so I think they want to blow up everything in Cleveland if you're a Cleveland Browns fan and the Niners are basically just saying hey sticking it together there are those you know fair weather fans out there who think that we just suck who don't watch these games week in and week out you know we've been down before and we're the San Francisco 49ers we're a, we're a true franchise here in the NFL and I think that um I, I know I believe that we're going to get this shit together and we're going to get it back. So um, looking forward to this game on Sunday. Um, I know that I think that the Texans play on a West Coast timeline because we're playing in Texas. So I'm guessing that this game is going to start at 1 o'clock. Um, if it does, I'll be watching. Um, so we'll see what happens. Peace out and I'll see you guys down the road.